Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and I hope you all are doing fine. So today we are going to learn uh, how to install free glute in Visual Studio. Uh, before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please kindly subscribe to our channel now and hit the bell icon to get notifications about our future tech videos. So let's get started. So first we need Visual Studio installed in our PC but to install Visual Studio we need to download it so let's download the Visual Studio from its official website okay so this is the official website of Microsoft Visual Studio and I am downloading the community version because it's free for everyone So our Visual Studio has been downloaded. So let's install it. Here is the here is the downloaded file that I need to install. So as you can see, it's downloading some files to begin the installation. Let's see. So it has downloaded the files and has started the installation already. Maybe it will be finished in a couple of minutes. Okay. So for free root, we need to have the uh, desktop development with C++ enabled. Okay. As I have uh, checked this, and these are also checked automatically, and you can find these files here also. Okay. The installer automatically selected this for desktop development with C++. Okay, so I am selecting this one because uh, I think it's very safe. After downloading all the file, then the installer will install it from the uh, locally. So I am selecting this option and clicking install. And it will take some time to download all the files based on your internet speed. So let's wait. The installation requires a restart so let me restart my PC and then I'm coming back so I have restarted my PC so let's see what happened to the Visual Studio installation I'm searching Visual Studio okay it shows us that the Visual Studio is already installed so let's open the Visual Studio and see here is the Visual Studio and I'm opening okay if you have any uh, microsoft account you can sign in also but for this time i'm not signing in so i'm selecting this option so it's telling us to choose the color theme and i am choosing the light one then start visual studio okay our visual studio ID has opened and now we can do these uh, things clone repository or open a project or open a folder or create a new project so now we can jump into the project setup part of free glute so for that we need to download free glute from its official website so let's download the free glute I am searching free glute so this is the official website of free glute So here is the pre-packaged released. Uh, these are source code. If you download these files, you need to compile it for yourself. But these are the compiled version. So I'm selecting this. Okay. So basically, there are two package for free glue. One is MSBC and one is Mingo. We will select the MSBC because uh, when we downloaded the Visual Studio, we have selected a workload name. Uh, desktop development with C++ okay so let me see where it is uh, yes desktop development with C++ and you can see there is a MSVC compiler which comes with the Visual Studio and this is the MSVC version of free glute and we need to download it to work with the Visual Studio so let's download the free glute for MSVC so the free glute is downloaded now let's create a C++ project and set a free glute in it. 
creating a new project you need to select C++ for your language and also you need to select Windows or platform and now I am selecting empty project okay next now we need to give it a name I am giving it a name so let's create it okay the project has been created successfully now let's go to the downloaded folder and where it is yes here is the downloaded folder and this is the uh, zip file that we have downloaded from the free glutes shell website and let's extract it here okay i have extracted it now we need to do some work in that folder i am entering into the folder and entering into the bin directory here we need to create a folder named win32 and move this dll into the win32 now what i have done uh, the free glutter dll file is available in x64 folder and also available in win32 folder the folder is defining the version of that free glutter whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit we need to do the same thing for lib also i am creating a new folder here win32 and moving that free glute file in that folder now we need to copy the free glute folder and we need to paste it into the solution directory of our visual studio okay let's open the solution directory location i'm clicking on the solution here and right clicking it and here there is option name open folder in file explorer okay so here i am creating a new folder name uh, dependencies okay because free glute is a dependency for our c++ project in visual studio it's a simple c++ project just we are adding an extra dependency which is free glute here i have pasted the folder and our all the copy paste is done now we need to change some project configuration from visual studio i'm clicking on the project and right clicking here and there is the properties option now we need to uh, select the C++ language standard. I am increasing it to the highest C++ 17 and clicking here apply. One important thing you need to apply it every time when you change something in this configuration and there is another important thing is that you need to select all configuration and all platforms because we need to have the changes for all that configuration and all that platforms of this specific project okay so now i am going into the bc plus plus directories here and we need to add include directory and library directory here so i'm clicking on the include directory edit so i need to add a new directory here or directory location here so first double quote and i am adding a uh, variable here solution directory what this variable will do we can we can paste the solution directory uh, location in here but why we do that we have very easy option we can use the uh, variable provided by visual studio okay visual studio will automatically replace it with the solution directory's location so let's uh, edit uh, dependent uh, dependencies dependencies then uh, free glue then include now enter as you can see this location is replaced okay this is replaced now okay now apply it now we need to do the same thing for library directory also here uh, I, uh, double quote first solution directory dependencies uh, then free group then leap then then we need to we need to use another another variable here which is named platform okay visual studio will automatically automatically change the value for that platform whether it is x64 or x86 or 32 bit visual studio will select it or decide it automatically now press enter okay then apply now we need to go to the linker option here linker and input i am going to the additional dependencies here and you need to type free glue dot leave. you need to type free glue dot leave here and okay then apply it 
Now we need to do some changes in build events, especially the uh, post build event. What the what is the post build event? When when the project will build it. Okay. After building that project, before launching the post build if a event will be triggered. We need to we need to copy a specific library into our uh, build it project directory okay not that directory where we have stored all the source code and we are working okay after building we need to copy that dll into the or uh, we need to copy that library into the uh, build it project directory so i am writing the command here so again we are using variable solution directory and dependencies then preclude then bin then we need to use the platform variable again uh, platform then the file then preclude dot dll okay so i will explain you what the command will do briefly okay so what will the command do this is the command copy copy this file okay copy this file into this folder the command will copy this file into this folder okay apply okay now now we need some code to test with so i am copying a code so I am right clicking here and adding new item of course our new item will be a C++ file I am giving it a name uh, main edit so I am pasting here okay it's giving us some uh, red marks here let's see what I have done wrong uh, Uh, yes, it's okay. Apply. Uh, okay, the red marks are gone. Now, rebuild the solution. Okay, it's rebuilded without uh, any fail. Now, uh, rebuild the project. Okay, it's also succeeded. Now, run okay it's running so our project is uh, ready for running any glute or pre glute code so thank you for watching us hit the like button if you liked our content share the video with others don't forget to give us feedback in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel now if you are curious to learn new tech ideas